fuck are you going? Oi, what are you doing? What's up? I, I just saw you coming out here out of nowhere. Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, I just want to push in. The guys like that, they give pea platers bad rap. I, I may be completely wrong here, but my general impression of that other guy, not this guy in the blue car here, but the other one that was just pushing in at the petrol station on the single lane exit, my impression of him is that he is on his red peas, he just feels like, yeah, he knows everything about driving and actually has a lot to learn and doesn't realise it. So I have officially been riding my motorcycle now for one year and you know I'm still alive I'm doing something right one thing that's really kept me alive especially now that I'm here in Sydney is my attitude on the road and I hope that a lot of people share the same attitude and that is basically expect the unexpected expect that people are going to do the wrong thing and expect that people just don't see you so I'm just going to ride around just to see if I can find people that are not paying attention just to highlight it, how easy it is, because even though I've been riding a year, I don't know everything, and there's people out there that have been riding for 20 years and still don't know everything. And it, I think if you're always open for learning, then you set yourself up for success. There's a car here, and then this guy here just pulls out, and he's, he's bloody crazy. Look at this guy, is he going to just pull in? Bloody hell, not paying attention. So that was a situation where I could have avoided easily by just slowing down and that guy would have just changed lane and you know, who would have been none the wiser. But I chose to toot my horn and use the next lane as a backup if um, he didn't stop heading into my lane. So I had an exit plan, that's basically it. Like, this here is a telltale sign of someone just even not paying attention or just doesn't know how to drive their car because that white line there is where you're supposed to stop before like all the other cars have done but they've definitely gone into the intersection it's always pretty critical in any situation if you're looking at how you are riding or driving to be able to look at it and go yeah other people do something wrong that's one thing but when you do something wrong you've got to own that responsibility and accept it and if anyone out there is a motor vlogger or they have a camera on their helmet they know that when you get home you go oh i'm gonna watch my footage i could see what happened that car pulled out or something you click to it and have a look and sometimes you go oh they they pulled out because they just couldn't see me like this dude here in this example I'm coming up the street I honestly thought he just pulled out but reviewing it he clearly does stop and he looks left and right and he doesn't see anyone coming and you can see there's pedestrians here obscuring the driver's view of me on the motorcycle coming up the hill and then he pulls out and then I give him a gutful of the engine revving it out but really there was no way that driver could have seen me and I think I've just got to stop being so quick to just point out that that person's doing something wrong you can take responsibility on how much you do wrong and own it learn from it improve from it and I think that's the better way to do it as usual guys keep safe out there on the road stay on two wheels and nut your head and I'll see you guys next Tuesday laters Hi guys, Addy Triple Five here. This is Sarah. She's got her brand new helmet and she's going to be my passenger on my motorcycle. Jeez. Gotta get home, mate.